Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Gailene. If you are new here, welcome. If you're uh, an old friend, hey, how you guys doing today? So um, I did this beautiful video. I asked the other day who, uh, what kind of videos you would like me to do, and I had several that just said they really enjoy the stamping, and one that specified, hey, I want to know how to do some stamping, some plaid stamping, how to keep the line straight, and just um, a good way to do plaids. That one's a little crooked, okay? That one is not perfect. Uh, so I filmed this video, and it was a beautiful video. It was perfect. I didn't make one single mistake, if you believe that. Um, yeah, you're, you're dreaming. Um, so I went out, and me and my husband went out to dinner and met my sister and my brother-in-law. We haven't done that forever and had a wonderful time. When I got home, I realized that um, it wasn't uploading. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't edit it. I recorded it in 8 HD. I didn't even know I could do that. Didn't even know it. Not 4 HD. No, no. 8 HD. It wouldn't upload. Couldn't edit in my edit video editor. So, um, yeah. Gonna have to do it all over. I'm gonna do this on, on tips. There's what I did. <laughs> so if you wanna see this, and hopefully I can recreate it, stay tuned. I'll show you what we've got going on. So the red I used is parrot polish. Both of the base bases are parrot polish. And I do, for once, believe these are still available. Um, Crimson Magic. It is a beautiful red chrome. Love this stuff. He's also got um, Blood... There's another one. What is that? I don't know. I don't see it right now. Um, that is also a red chrome that is beautiful and makes a beautiful polish. And then this one, which I cannot read that. I don't know what that says. That font is weird. And the, the names were weird anyway. These are multi-chromes that he had, I believe, last year. They're beautiful. And I think they're still available. If not, you can contact him, private message him on, on uh, Facebook or his wife on Instagram and ask because I'm pretty sure that these are still available and there's a whole line of these multichromes. They're beautiful. Anyway, that's what I started with on my nails. So I went ahead and painted a couple pop sticks with the same polish and I did a white one too, just in case. And that one I used um, in Marie Island. Also a, a, a fabulous white. It doesn't it doesn't stamp as opaque as other white stamping polishes. It's not really a stamping polish, but it is a beautiful base, one coat. And I don't have any problems with it yellowing with top coats. And I'm, I don't know about you guys, but with whites, if it's not a gel, when you top coat it, sometimes it just yellows. Um, I, I don't know if it's the lotion. I know that like sunscreen and stuff like that mess with white polishes. But anyway, let's get on. And I, ha I used uh, my favorite gold Calypso Gold. It is just a beautiful, um, just perfect metallic gold. And the red I used is Hit the Bottle Drop Red Gorgeous. And I also used this green Emeralds Are Forever from Hit the Bottle. I pulled a couple of others that um, are close. This one, um, it, it just isn't, I don't know, the gold is a little kind of coppery and um, it is beautiful cozy from maniology is a fabulous gold and um, there's also a couple other ones this one was just too yellow gold i didn't really want a heart of gold it's an awesome stamping polish too and jack it's kind of a rose gold though so i just went through and found the gold that i wanted and a red that i wanted um hit the bottle also has a beautiful uh vermilion to one it was just I wanted something kind of metallic. Anyway, there are plenty others that you can use. And I also grabbed this one too because I thought it's kind of a gold green. It must be love from Hit the Bottle. Um, they are international. They are based in, in um, Australia. So Michelle makes beautiful polish, stamping polishes, regular polishes, stamping plates. Um, but I buy from Lantern and Wren when I get when I get a Hit the Bottle polish or Hit the Bottle anything or polish pickup. Um, I'm going to be using, I don't know, I'm not sure yet. I might be using the monocle. Um, I don't know. These, if, if you have trouble keeping um, 
lines straight when you stamp. A monocle isn't really the way to go because they're harder to line up because of the shape. And if you've got curly nails especially, when you go to stamp them, you can go wonky with them. Like you can try trying to get it right, you can go wonky with them. Um, this one, I put the bottom of the stamper, the base that goes in the bottom. I just move that around to place directly under the stamper. That makes it more firm. I mean, that's the most important thing when you're doing a plaid or any kind of straight lines. You want something that is firm enough to get a straight line um, because squishy ones kind of go jiggly and they're easy to, they're not as easy to place because when you place it, even if you start straight, it's easy to get them turned just a little bit and then they go crooked. I've got my stamper cleaning pad here. This one is, <clears throat> this is from Maniology. Um, they have a couple of them. That one I've just had for a while. And you can use tape. Don't use anything but tape on stampers. This one is pretty old. You can see it's a little scuffed. Um, but that's okay. And the plate I'm going to be using is from Maniology M267. Now they have several plates that have some uh, different lines that you can use. And maybe I'll use this one too. Um, this from Edubus, I really love this plate. And you can get this on Amazon. And you get two plates in a package for like $9.99, $8, $9. They're awesome plates. They're double-sided. They're so, um, they're so nice for beginners, especially because the grooves are so deep and you can take your time and be slow about it. Um, if you are a beginner, I would recommend using a sticky stamping polish, um, like something from She Modern or using maniology polishes because you do need to be you can be a little slower with those um, the hit the bottle polishes are so opaque and they dry really fast so you do have to be pretty quick when stamping with them unless you've got a plate like um, the edubus plates that are a little deep more deeply grooved um, this creative shop is also a good one to do um, they are a little more deeply grooved, and this is a really cute plate, too. Um, this one is Creative Shop 158, and they are based in Ukraine. All right, so once you've decided what all you're going to use to stamp with, the plate you want, the polish you want, the stamper you want, uh, I take a little bit of acetone and put it on... Um, lint-free wipes and set it next to me and then my scraper I, I clean it on that because with lines you got to make sure that your scraper is smooth and nice one that's kind of firm but not real stiff I just love clear jelly stamper scrapers I'm not crazy about their plates they're too inconsistent they're either so fine you can't use them or they're uh, I don't know I'm just not real crazy they put too many layers it's a whole thing with them and it's from they're in Canada they're hard for me to get I can get them from Land and Ren I don't know I just they're just I just have trouble with the consistency of their plates um and then having to fight plates I'm never going to use it again if I have to fight it and then I had spent so much on that plate and then Anyway, moving on. Shut up, Guyleen. All right, so we're going to do um, the one I did on my left hand first. As you see, I kind of mixed it up a little bit. Did a little different kind of stamping. So I'm going to go ahead and use the green, I think, for this one. You want to start with some paper towel or something to wipe your scraper on. And... These polishes I've had for years, so I did need to thin them out a little bit. And don't ever use fingernail polish remover if you've got a thin out polish. If you get a polish that's thick, invest in some polish thinner. Because acetone or nail polish remover, 
that's going to eat that polish. It's not made to thin it out. It's made to eat that polish. So um, KB Shimmer is where I got this bottle. Um, several companies have this stuff. They have it for gel and they have it for regular polish. Um, Glisten and Glow has some that's really good. Anyway, we're going to start with this red. And this is a chrome. And I'm going to start with, I think, these lines here. And then you're going to scrape one way and you're going to use just the weight of the stamper. Um, and if you can't, don't pick it up the first time. Wipe it off if it doesn't pick up good and apply a little more pressure maybe the next time. But just start with just the weight of the stamper is all it takes. Um, I think I'm just going to do it on the white right now so that you can really see it clearly. And when you use a, a rectangle like this, you can get the whole image. It's, it's perfect because then it's easier for you to align it to your nail. And if you start um, at your cuticle area, um, you can pick a spot in the middle or even at an edge. That way, when you stamp it, you know when you go to pick up the next one where you started at. So I recommend lining it up so that the edge is on either the right or the left, whatever. I'm going to start with the left and at the cuticle area and line up one of these lines right in the middle and go straight down. Don't try to roll it when you're using lines. Oh no, I didn't use any sticky base coat. Yeah. Mistake number one. <laughs> now since that that nail polish was completely dry. I can just take a piece of tape and take off that that stamp and start again. This time we're going to use some sticky base coat to make sure that that image is going to stick. Always clean the plate with pure acetone, 100% acetone and a piece of cotton. Don't use any fingernail polish remover that is tinted, especially because it's got oils in it. All right. Take two. I have to say this polish is much better since I thinned it out a little bit. Try this again. I just touch that. Oh, that's better. Um, I think on this white I'm going to do green. Okay, we're going to try the monocle stamper next. Um, most importantly, lining up, because it, you want to turn, it's like, oh my gosh, which way did I have it? So if you always imagine, either start it, if there's a letter, this is maniology, so I can put my thumb on that M, and that's where I'm going to line it up at, or know where that's going to be lined up at. Use that as a center. But you're picking up the entire image, so that makes it a little easier. Um, okay, so I didn't get that line fully, so we're going to do that one again. So if you've got some negative space, Load it up and kind of scrub it in there. Make sure that you're getting everything covered. Generally, you can just drag across and you're going to get it all covered. But in this case, you want to make sure you get those negative space lines. 
and don't push too hard and you definitely want to roll it and this is where you get wonky lines when you're rolling and when you're using a round I don't know it's just harder when you're using a monocle like this for me it may not be for everyone see it's already looking like it's a little crooked like it's a wonky you see how that's rounded so I don't like that at all I'm gonna get rid of that too also I know everybody doesn't have an army of stampers like I do um, but these this one is so much firm more firm than this one you can see it it's it's just this one is a little more jelly that one is an older one but I know maniology the newer ones are a little more firm Oh, you know, used to, we had ones that weren't, weren't even clear, and they were hard as a rock, so. People that say, oh, you make it look so easy. Well, I've done it for years and years already. I'm perfectly straight with this one. And you want it offset just a little bit anyway. Still got that one wonky. All right, so let's try something a little different. I didn't do this one yesterday. That one's a lot heavier. And then we've got some finer lines we can put over it. I know I'm going to hear people saying, oh, you make it look so easy. I have been doing this literally for 10, 15 years. A long time. So I try to make it look hard, which I think I kind of have. It's not super easy. It's really not. So if you're one of those people that just wants to do a little stamping and get it done, um, this probably isn't the thing for you, but if it's something that you enjoy doing and it's relaxing to you and you like doing this kind of thing, then it's for sure your thing. Now that's a little, I'm going to line that up right in the center of those diamonds. last one love this plate m164 this is a beautiful fall plate and it is such a nice uh, plate for for doing it's such a nice plate for doing plaids uh, i have one that has a bunch of different lines that you can put together and make plaids i couldn't find it i don't know where it is it's somewhere in this mess i have tried to you know fix all my plates and reorganize them and I just have a huge pile that I end up not getting reorganized because I've got so many stinking plates. So I've been trying to give them away and um, put them in giveaways. And the last winner of December's Manny and Me box, <clears throat> excuse me, still has not contacted me. Um, who is it? HK Mama Mama Bear. You won. Get a hold of me. DM me on Instagram. Email me at guyling325 at Hotmail. Okay, that one is a little harder to line up. But if you're just looking through, you can see where to put it. Or how to put it, how you want it. You can line it right on top of the red ones or offset. Oh, I love that one. So absolutely practice on swatch sticks or the back of a spoon, a plastic spoon. Practice, practice, and then do it on your nails. All right, so um, I guess that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Ask me down below. If there's something else that you need help with stamping, um, again, 
tell me down in the comments. I would be happy to attempt or try to show you how to do specifically, you know, a stamping problem that you're having or anything like that. I'm actually uh, footloose and fancy free for the rest of December to be able to do videos, whatever you guys want. I'm not committed to anything. I'm done with everything that I had committed myself to do and to post. So, and there are several really good matte top coats out there. Um, Glisten and Glow has a really good matte top coat. Adored Colors has a fabulous matte top coat. Um, Purple Willow Apothecary, I love their matte top coats. If they're regular top coats. This one is, um, Gerine, I don't know what it is. I got it from a Polish pickup like in, oh, 2019, August 2019. But it is, it's so cool. It's like a, a flaky matte top coat. So I'm going to try that. Um, I think that will make a really cute, just like, oh yeah, like frosty, Christmassy. Ooh, I might do that on my nails. Casey and Tara are texting right now and it keeps coming across my phone. I'm busy, stop texting me. All right, there I put that mat on these. Oh, that's super cute. Ooh, I like it. I like that. Oh, that's not all the way dry. <laughs> Stay tuned for a little fun video here at the end. Bye. Okay, here's the babushka with her quiet ears. No scarf for her ears. So we're riding in a car. Her ears won't get cold because of her head hanging out. Her is a babushka. She's a babushka. She wikes it. She doesn't, she doesn't try to get it off like Augie Dog. Yes, her wikes it. She's a good girl. Her so good girl. But here's her hoodie. I'm not gonna put it on her because like it was easy to get on her, but getting it off was kind of a pain in the butt. But there's her hoodie. <laughs> if it's perfect, it's from Spark Paws. And I thought it was um in the United States, but it's not, so that's kind of sad. But it is so soft and stretchy and nice. Heavy, nice. And she loved she wore it all day yesterday, but it's kind of hot for it today. But it's a really cute hoodie. I could get one to match too, but I don't know if I will. <laughs> Her so good girl. It's so pretty. Yes. Yes. All right. I'm pretty much finished with my tree. I didn't go ahead and take all the ornaments off to relight it because I have red and green lights I was going to put on it, but I'm too lazy to take all the ornaments off. And um, most of the presents out here, my, my yearly... Uh, poinsettia that I got to kill it will die because I won't be able to keep it alive but anyway Penny's paw print that I did so cute bye my little miss chicken wouldn't come outside because it's windy and this thing's like bonking around making noise anyway I thought I'd show you my lights these are just from the Dollar Tree and they are uh, solar lights Got like four of them. A red and a green one, a blue and a yellow one. Uh, here are my lights. Got my little tree up outside. We're gonna hope we hope we can plant it. We plant them every year. I buy one for the porch and then we plant it. It is windy.